Okay guys, in today's video we're taking a look at one of my favorite characters from the Resident Evil series, Albert Wesker, Star's version. If you've seen my other Wesker video, it's kind of the same body-wise and all that, head sculpt. It's just a different outfit and some few extra accessories, and mindset accessories. But let's do the dramatic scroll up, start with the boots, and this is also kind of a detailed look as well, I guess. And there we are with the man himself, Albert Wesker. The material on his outfit is all nice. Everything's goodly sculpted, not sculpted, but uh, tailored. Which is the shirt, the vest, and all that, the pants. It all looks great. Head sculpt is, I think it's almost the same thing with one minor difference. It has like a manic on the inside of the head. Right there by the ear. This is a magnet part here the headset just take the headset put it to the ear and it clings on which is really nice looking it's really good little detail they did so before I get on with the accessories let's take a look at the back stuff just so you can see the rest of the details oh yeah stars logo let's do a side view nice little stitches stitches and I forget what they're called little circle parts Although the pants do look great, they seem a little, I don't know, maybe tight or something, but they still look good. Boots, really nicely detailed and has a nice, they have a nice gloss to them. It's not super glossy, but it's enough to make it look like, like a leather or something. You tell right here, or you can see right here, S-T-A-R-S, -S, stars. Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Articulation, I'm not really going to show it because it's the same stuff. The only real difference is that you're slightly restricted on the, on the wrist because of the extra length on the gloves. You see the gloves going pretty deep. So you, you don't get that extra... You know, you can't get that much movement. Pretty much the only movement you got really is just a basic 360. On with the accessories, you got this hand, which is made to hold a knife. This hand holds gun, holds a weapon. You get this gun right here, which if you wanted, you can pull the, the clip out. And I didn't really want to do it, but I'll go ahead and take this part out. Whoops. Well, as you can see, the, clip, the top part of the gun comes off. Yeah, so th with that happening, you can tell the gun fits in there nice and snug. There's no real looseness to it. Just take this part, line up the holes correctly, and just slide back in. No problems at all. The thing I like, the, the thing I like most about this weapon is right here, if you can see it. You can see the stars logo right there. So yeah, good details on this little thing. Also the clip comes out too. Just grab that and pull it out. And like all Hot Toys weapons, it actually has a bullet inside. Comes with a flashlight. Which on itself looks pretty good. It just seems a little undersized is all. But it still looks nice. He comes with his little walkie-talkie, which fits into the pouch pretty tight. You really gotta get a good grip and push it in. And even then, it might be a little hard for the Velcro to close all the way. Walkie's held. The Velcro connects to the headset through the little wire. It doesn't do nothing, but it's, that's the way it's supposed to be. Like I said before, there's a magnet, magnet here, and it connects to the head through another magnet. It's really nice. Of course he has the glasses, like the other one did. And like, just like the other one, he has glowing eyes. I'm not gonna activate the eyes, but you can see still the same head. 
and the switch is still in the same spot on the back of the neck right here. And just like with the other Wesker, he comes with his triple barrel shotgun. And like before, it still opens up. I don't think I could get it open up. Oh, never mind. And there's three removable shells inside. Pop that close. And you're good to go. He has a little carrying case for his knife. And it connects through little hooks that hook up to the straps here. It's very kind of hard to get in without trying to snap the pieces because they're like thin plastic so there's a chance you can break it if you try to do it too much. If I can get the knife, you can see the knife. There's the knife. Nice big huge knife. Or machete or whatever you want to call it. And the only other thing really is just the flame grenades. It comes with two of them. They have nice details on them but they're just uh, stickers. As you can see the seams here. And there. They look good but over time if they get wet or something they're going to peel off. Which is kind of bad but for now it's good. And one last accessory kind of it comes with two extra wrist pegs. Which for my guy, we don't plan on switching hands around, so that's basically what he's going to be with. It's good for people who want extra hands for custom characters or something. You could look to spend about $160 to $170 plus shipping. You might be able to find it a little bit cheaper than that, but uh, maybe like a $10 difference or something, but it's not going to be like a $20, $30 chip difference. You could pick this guy up over at Sideshow Collectibles, Big Bad Toy Store, or eBay. There's other places that sell this as well, but those are the main places I go to. I forgot to show it when I was doing my detailed look, but uh, on his glove, he has his wristwatch there. So yeah, I really haven't had any problems with him. All the weapons, still good. Joints are all nice and tight. Batteries work in my head. The eyes are perfectly lined up, unlike my first one. The only minor problem I had with it was the knife on the back. Just trying to get it to the holster to hook up to the... Just trying to get the holster to hook up to the back of the, out, the vest like this. But once you get it hooked up, there should be no more other problems you have. Everything is good, nice and tight, good details, good sculpt, good tailoring, good paint job. Pretty much a 10 out of 10 figure, I would say. If you can only get one, if you have a choice between Star's Wesker and Midnight Wesker, I'd definitely say pick up Star's Wesker. To me, he looks the best. He comes with less accessories than the Midnight Wesker does, but to me, he looks a lot better. Mainly because I mainly because I'm a big fan of the first Resident Evil so of course I'm going to say this is better but I can see the outfit looks really good unlike the other Wesker the outfit looked kind of cheap and plastic like this one is all good cloth good everything on it so I say if you have the extra cash definitely pick him up He's really wor he really is worth getting I'm pretty sure you won't be upset when you pick him up just one thing to be sure of if you turn the eyes on at all make sure you turn them off when you're done because you know, if you leave them on too long, they're going to die out, you got to change the batteries and go through the whole process. And just for fun and so you can see the differences. Here we are with both Stars and Midnight Wesker. They're the same height, but just because I have my Wesker Midnight version, he's posed a little bit different so he looks a little bit shorter, but they are the same height. They both look great, but if you only have a choice of one, get the Stars version. Either way, it's up to you which one you pick up, but well, it's up to me, you know which one I would pick. So that's it for the Stars Wesker from Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 0, and Resident Evil 1. Hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely pick them up. And if you have a chance, stop by my Facebook page so you can check out my updates, extra pictures, customs. Like if I pick up something new, I'll tell you guys. If I'm going to do a video on it, I'll tell you guys. If I'm in the process of doing the video, I'll tell you guys. Uploading and all that. So definitely check out my Facebook page for uh, updates and all that. And sooner or later I'll be doing like exclusive stuff to that thing, but that's still going to be a So again, this is Albert Wesker from Resident Evil 1. Pick him up if you have the chance. If you don't pick him up, I think you might regret it later on. So that's it. And we're gone.